Welcome to another video from Preact, and in today's video, I'm just going to show you how we can pull parent information using a calculated field. Um, this is a scenario that came up on a recent project I was working on, whereby we had to pull in information from the existing product and get that into the, the quote line product. Um, quite a common scenario where the quote line product is a bit locked down, you can't update using workflows or data mapping. So using a calculated field in this scenario, managed to overcome that issue. Just show you how I achieved this. Okay, so what we had is we got the concept of the client would like to store a cost price against the product, which you can see I've just added cost price here. Um, then they wanted to, you know, over here on a quote, upon adding a quote product, they wanted the margin to pull, you know, the quote, the quote price to pull through so they could work out their margins. Um, how did I achieve this? We've just added, you can see down here on the quote form, a cost price field, which is a calculated field. You can see here, cost price. This is a currency field set to be calculated. And then all you can see we've done here, if I just delete this, you can see here. So what we need to do here is we need to reference the lookup field. In this scenario is the existing product. So if I just find that field, you can see existing product. Next to this, we can see this is the lookup. It says lookup here, so we pick this. And then all we have to do is put a full stop. As soon as we put a full stop, we're now presented with the fields from this parent lookup record. So I'm now looking for that field I originally created called cost price, which is this one. It's as simple as that. So we find the lookup, full stop, and then we find the price we want to pull in from here as part of this calculation. I'll just save this and I'll just show you how when we add this to the, the quote, what the quote line looks like. So just back on the quote here, if I now go add products and I find my product, let's just say we want three of these, Click add, save to quote. Now you can see this has come through three of those at that price, that's the cost price that's putting through. And if I just double click into the quote line itself, you can see the cost price is locked, but that's come from this parent product. Um, I've got a few other calculations and the margins and other things that they would like to see on here as well. Um, but you can see how the cost price has come through. And if I just recalculate this, we can see based on three of those, that's how much the cost price was going to be and the margins and anything else they wanted to add in. Um, obviously, I've done this on, on a product and a quote line, but this can be useful against order lines, opportunity lines. Um, it can use anywhere in the system, basically, where you need to pull a value from the parent record. Um, sometimes this is better to be used as opposed to a quick view form where the quick view form takes up quite a bit of information on the form itself. If you just need to see a value from a parent field, um, you might choose a calculated field over a quick view form. Um, hopefully you like this quick tip and trick and you can see where this can be used in your own sort of dynamics instances. If you did, please feel free to get in touch with us. If you have any other questions regarding this topic, you know, calculate fields or you know, parent lookups, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.